Original. It's Melissa, the M of the M and H of Bespoke Hairstyles. Uh, this is a random posting um, inspired by uh, my friend um, who I've just had a conversation with um, about her struggle with um, her little baby's head. She knows who she is. Um, and I thought I should just do this posting as I'm thinking about this a lot. Okay, so... I have done a posting um, previously, I have done a posting on um, grooming little heads. Take a look at that and see if that helps you with your little one. I'm also doing postings with my daughter just to show you how I groom her hair. And that is to help you when you touch your little head um, to help you basically um, not struggle too much. My daughter has medium length, I would say short hair. So for moms who are struggling, who can't bring their children's hair um, or niece or, um, or nephew's hair into one bunch, I will show you possible styles that you should um, consider. Um, even if it's not live, I will try to kind of show you and explain how I do what I do. The reason why I'm doing this is because it's time for a change. Um, as a little girl, all of us have the experience of, of, of basically being forced to sit through a grooming regime, which was just, we weren't feeling it. We didn't like it. We weren't feeling it. And a lot of us, as a result of those words that were used, those actions that were used, your energy when you were on my head, that's why I don't like my curl pattern. And that's why I've decided to perm my hair. We need to change that. So when our little girls become young women, they smile when they think about doing their hair. They're in a good mood when they think about doing their hair. When we touch our hair, what we have to think about is, it's all about the action. When we touch our hair, are we in a good mood? Do we celebrate our hair? Or are we like, kissing our teeth and just like in a bad mood. And when we're ready to do our little heads, are we like, come on, let's time to do your head and set it up for them to enjoy the experience? Or are we on their heads, forcing them to sit through you pulling their hair? Um, I, this is for, this specific posting is to remind mums of little ones because I have a little one who has a lot of hair. He has a lot of hair to his back. And he has Afro hair um, that um, you could, I could struggle with and I sometimes struggle with. But, um, and the reason why there is a struggle is because he is two years old. Um, and so if your child is, I would say under the age of four, don't expect them to just, just because they've probably had a cousin or a sibling before who has just had that personality where they sit through a grooming regime where their hair is braided, don't expect that child to be like that. Um, you might think they have sensitive follicles, but actually what they have is a sensitivity to your energy when you're about to do their hair. Um, starts with just chilling out. Um, and do uh, playtime, you know, um, what I do with mine. And it doesn't necessarily always work, but for me, I need for him to get to a place, or and my daughter to get to a place where, um, and I think my daughter's kind of there where it's like, yay, time to do my hair. Um, and that's just because if you start off five minutes first, put them on their stool or their favorite chair with their program and just play with their hair. I, I don't comb, so I'm, I can only talk about how I... Um, supporting my kids into enjoying their hair. Um, I don't see the use of a comb right now. Um, more a little brush to brush off the lint, but the comb for me um, doesn't work in my house right now. That, that might change um, if I discover a comb that works, but there's nothing like feeling. So I'll sit uh, and it might, I might aim to do it for five minutes and he's decided or she's decided when she was little she wants to move. I'll just let them move instead of chasing them. You must come and do your hair now. You must come and... No. That is just saying to them, um, I don't like your hair right now and I need to get on and do it. 
um, allow that they will run off and then they will learn gradually and then you put it five minutes and then you do it ten minutes and then they regress again and do it for two minutes but just start showing them um, that there will be a little time in the day where we spend doing your hair and this has worked because little by little and um, by the time my daughter was four she then began to sit through for an hour for me to do her hair and now she can sit even two hours because as long as her favorite program's on or she's doing something she loves she doesn't mind mommy doing her hair and, and creating a style on her hair so i just need you to think about the psyche um, when your child starts crying it's not because necessarily they have sensitive follicles it's just because they're thinking here we go again um, another uh, moment where I'm with mum and she's going to be chasing me and pulling me and forcing me to do something I don't want to do you have to teach them that this is how we're going to be uh, playing with your hair this is how we're going to be styling your hair get them um, get them kind of like not even being aware of that that's what you're doing at that moment um, because the future is about them not really for them not disliking their hair it's for them to celebrate their hair and that then they pass it on to the next generation so please let's make a change now um it's not easy but we are here to support you so if you have any questions um just um add us on facebook and where we have to talk we'll talk or you, you know i can text or i can comment but please 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 let's just make a change for the little heads stay patient not in a bad mood and be gentle and allow them to run off and then come back and then run off it's fine um, it will be all right you don't need to do it a, a little one under four you don't need to do their hair one hour straight because to me that's just for mine that's not normal it's never happened with my little ones so try it stay connected and let me know how it goes um, I continue sharing as I think I share Thank you for watching this posting. Take care. Look after those little heads. Bye. I forgot to add that spritzing is important in the in my grooming regime with my um, my kids. Um, I don't work with dry hair. I have my spritz bottle. Where is my spritz bottle? I have my spritz bottle, and um, this one's got. Um, this one's got rose water. This one's got rose water. Um, it's mirroring, but you can see that says rose water. And a little bit of almond oil. Um, and the rose water, I've just got it from a local um, grocery store, a Turkish grocery store. Um, and water, um, rose water and almond oil. Spritz into the hair, and then I just play with the hair. From the tip, I just start detangling um, and I might do this when it's not time to style their hair. That's what I, I would say is start doing their hair. When their hair's just been done and they you don't need to actually dedicate that time to style their hair, then um, if I were you, I would just unpick one twist, one little twist, spritz, and just start playing with that and twist it back a minute. Start doing those little things. When they're sitting on your lap, you're touching their hair, um, you take a little spritz, um, and you gradually kind of do that. It's just something mummy does, or daddy does. When I'm um, near them, they'll get their little spritz bottle out um, from time to time, and they'll just spritz their hair. And they like it because it's cool water. Almond oil, rose water oil, natural. So if it falls onto their face and it soothes them, that's even better. Thank you for watching this posting. If I think of anything else, I just keep adding to this posting because it's very important. We need to look after our little heads. Take care. Bye. Ah, well, Mono Safran SK.